In this video tutorial, I am going to explain how we can use a power apps radio button control and as well as a power apps data table control. These are two very important control in power apps that users should know. So the power apps button control uh, allows user to select a single option from a predefined set of options. It's use uh, it's commonly used for making choices. Uh, you can see in forms or surveys. But uh, there are some key features like user can only select one option at a time. Wherever the Power Apps data table control uh, is used to display tabular format or tabular data from a data source like SharePoint, Excel, SQL, it also provides a way to visualize and interact with data in a grid format. You can connect uh, uh, you can connect to data sources such as SharePoint, Excel, or SQL database, and you can uh, show those data in inside the data table control. So let's jump to my uh, Power Apps application and show you how you can use both the controls in the screen. In this application, you can see this is a screen where I have uh, inserted one uh, radio button control. These are two radio button control actually. First one, I have entered uh, items manually, wherever in the second one, I have entered uh, items uh, from a SharePoint list. And uh, the second one, I will tell you like this is a data table control where uh, I have entered, uh, I, I mean, I have displayed this item manually. So as well as this is the third screen where uh, the, you can, I will tell you uh, step by step how you can display SharePoint list item in a Power Apps data table. So this, so this data table looks like this after when, uh, displaying the uh, all the SharePoint list item into the data table. And in the fourth one, I will uh, tell you uh, one basic scenario or one useful scenario that how you can use a radio button control and a data table control. Uh, that means here what I have done here i have filtering uh, the um, data table control items based upon the radio button suppose i will uh, choose any of the uh, item over here like hr team or finance team or marketing team based upon that the data table the, the data table is filtering out so let me tell you one by one that how we can use it here now i will take another screen this one blank screen i will take you can design your screen like I have already mentioned in previous video that how you can design your screen like this and that. So you can follow that thing. Here I will only tell the uh, scenario that how you can use it. So for that just add a radio button control. I have added this one radio button control. First you can see here the radio uh, button control uh, default items property. You can see here radio sample. So inside of it you can enter your items manually suppose i will enter something like uh, apple and i will enter orange and i will enter something like uh, guava so here uh, okay, sorry double so here you can see it is appearing like this so make sure while you will enter item manually inside a um, radio button control uh, you you must ensure to put a bracket like this starting and ending bracket like this uh, including uh, this uh, inverted comma okay so then only you can select any one option from here okay i will tell you one more thing suppose uh, whenever a user will open the application or uh, maybe they want to see the default item should be orange every time so what you can do there is a default property you can see here like you can write default so here you can enter your item suppose you want to display the orange whenever user will open the application every time the application should open with the orange default item and another important property i will tell you uh, there is a property called layout uh, suppose you want to show this radio button control in horizontal mode so what you can do this there is a layout property just go to this layout property and here you can see uh, vertical vertical means the radio button control it is displaying as vertical mode suppose you want to display in horizontal just put horizontal you can see here once you will put horizontal it will display like this so this is a uh, best feature in uh, power apps uh, radio button control that you can use it's like best upon user requirement 
and here you can see in the left side whenever a user will uh, insert a radio button control the radio button control name should be appearing with radio 1 radio 2 radio 3 uh, based upon your requirement you can change uh, the radio button control name like the fruits you can see here i have changed this one so like once you double click on it and you will just enter the name it will change okay now let me tell you how you can um, display set point list items in a power apps radio button control so i will take another uh, radio button you can take this one also but uh, for the uh, i mean if you will not confuse for that reason i will take another radio button control so i will make it here like this and uh, i will before that i will show you uh, my set point list you can see training uh, training courses is my set point list name wherever course name technology start date end date and tutorial time are all are my columns so you can see these are the various columns this is text input uh, sorry this is a single line of text i think this is a title column technology is my choice column date and start date and end date time column and tutor is my person column so i want to um display all these technologies in my serpoint now uh, in my power apps radio button control so how you can do it so to display a uh, serpoint list items in a radio button control what we need to do you need to provide the choice function there is a function called choices and then put a bracket uh, then you just need to provide your serpoint list name so uh, before uh, i mean uh, to display uh, before displaying the set point list item over the radio button control make sure uh, you need to connect the set point list to this application else it is not possible at all so then just put a dot and then you need to provide the choice column here now you can see whatever the um, uh, like technologies are available in this set point list choice column all these things are available over here so once you preview this you can make any of the choices like this okay and uh, one more thing suppose you want to display here uh, a text i mean single line of text field values i mean set point uh, text field value so what you will do you will uh, use the distinct function so for this just put the distinct and then bracket and then you need to put the um you need to put uh, your set point list name so training courses you can see here and then comma and then you need to put the uh, what your single line of text field so i will put title and once you will close this one you can see here how you can display your uh, set point uh, list um, title column or single line of text uh, over the radio button control in this way you can make your uh application done suppose you want to display any of the default item whenever user will open this application or form so here inside of this you need to put something like modern set point training i will put it so whenever user will open this uh, uh, application always it will be selected this first option or default option should be the first one in this way we can use the power apps radio button control now let me tell you how you can use a data table control so for that i will take another screen and here i will take data table control so here you can choose the data table control before that you need to ensure that uh, you need to connect the set point list over here uh, in this application so here i have connected all the list so i will take one of them like i will take uh, uh, block sites so you can see here there is a um another set point list called block sites you can see all the column names and these are the records so now i want to display all these records over this uh, data table control so how, what i can do there is a items property you can see over here okay but before that i need to select data source property you can see here once i will expand this data source property all the uh, list are available over here so i need to choose the block sites because i want to display the block sites list record so i will choose that one and after that what i needs to do see here it is appearing everything suppose uh, in some of the cases what happens actually uh, the fields are not visible at all okay so for that what you can do or or um, let's think like uh, suppose you want to 
uh, remove or you want to hide some of the columns that are not necessary to display over here so for that what you can do you can see here there is a fields property you just select over here and you can see suppose you want to add any extra field then you can choose any of the field and then once you'll click on connect it will add or add uh, it will add the field suppose you want to uh, remove any of the column over here just you can click on this ellipsis or more action and then you just click on this remove option suppose i want another one i want to um, remove so it will be like this so in this way you can remove the uh, columns as well suppose you want to display this uh, site work or active or, or inactive field uh, like first i mean before the title so you just need to drag and drop over the title i mean before the title so first it will display active or inactive and then title and then site url like this okay suppose here you want to change the header name suppose you want to see like by default it will come as this item dot title suppose you want to um change the rename the header so what you can do here you can see the right side of this uh, column there is a property called header text you can change the it to course name so once you change it you can see it will reflect over here and as well as suppose you want to um, design any kind of uh, like uh, uh, design any kind of things like uh, uh, you can put a border over here too and suppose you want to put the font rate as semi bold and if you want to make it 18 then you can make it and then for the header part you can see the below here suppose you want to make it bold and suppose you make it to 20 you can see over here that how you are uh, like you can display like this okay so this is all about the power ups data table control this one is like i have added all these uh, records from the sharepoint list suppose i want to display uh, or i want to enter the items manually in a power of table control so for that what i can do i will take another data table control uh, here you can see so here i will not take any type of uh, like connector i just want to display my manual item so for that you can see here items property is there just you need to put some record like this like in inverted comma within the bracket Suppose I will put something uh, Cristiano and I will put Smith, I will put Harry. So here you can see here still the data is not visible inside the data table control. For that what you can do you just go to the edit field, just add field. You can see over here there is a value property. So just click on it, add, I mean just select the uh, value and just add it. Now you can see there is a i mean you can uh, but in this way you can use the or you can enter the items manually inside a data table control here suppose the value or the header you want to change it for that you can change it over here there is right side a property called as header text so once you will click on it you can uh, change the header okay so in this way we can use a data table control finally i will show you like how we can filter out this thing i mean based upon this example so that you can understand properly for that what we can do i will take another screen let me show you i will tell i will uh, take another screen and uh, here i will take another uh, radio button control okay and here i have uh, i will change the layout is uh, horizontal it is vertical so i want to make it horizontal and i will just copy paste everything okay so just you need to put the uh, i already told you how you can enter the item manually inside a um, this one radio button control so so you can put it like this sorry this is a layout property so i just put it wrongly so it is horizontal and just go to the items property of it and uh, items here yeah. 
here it is items so just radio sample just i will put it like this you need to change your background color or whatever you can do it uh, like uh, the right side properties are there you can do it as per your need okay and then i will take a data table control over here so data table control i will uh, now i will filter the record based upon these values okay so for that i will just um, copy paste the code i will uh, i will use a function called as filter okay for filtering the things there is a uh, power ups function called as power ups filter or filter function so i have just uh, copied the code and i will paste over here you can see here like scheduled event is my uh, list name you can see here before that i will show you that list name schedule, schedule event so this is my list actually now i want to um what i want to uh, filter out this all this item based upon my uh, this one based upon my department so there is a um here you can see there is a choice column called as finance team um, i mean department so based upon this department the data table will filter out so here you can see location dot value is not coming so location dot value okay so i will um here you can see um now i will describe the code like just select this uh, data table control let me explain you describe the code so schedule event is my uh, SharePoint list name you need to uh, for the filtering things you need to provide the filter function department is my choice column and rd department rd department means i have taken the uh, previous uh, radio button control but here i have changed as radio 5 so you want you need to uh, provide the uh, correct uh, radio button control name then only the uh, I, then only the data table will filter out so suppose you want to uh, you don't want to display this attachment control or attachment column so you can come here and you can remove here so now just i will preview this one and once i will click on this hr team you can see the data table is filtering out like this once i will click on admin it will filter out like this so in this way we can use the power apps radio button control and a data table control in the next video i will tell you another important controls